Good morning. So I will be providing you with a more detailed overview of the two degree programs, the structure of the degree programs in aeronautical engineering and aerospace systems. The degree programs in aeronautical engineering and aerospace systems are uh, run and managed by the Division of Aerospace Sciences within the School of Engineering. The Aerospace Science Division was originally uh, founded in 1951 as a department of aerospace engineering within the old Faculty of Engineering at the University of Glasgow. On top of the undergraduate degree programs, we offer also postgraduate degree programs, uh, Master of Science in Aeronautical Engineering, Aerospace Systems, Aeronautical Engineering with Management, and Space Systems Engineering. So, <clears throat> looking into a bit more detail in the two uh, degrees that are being offered, the first one is the Bachelor of Engineering with Honours in Aerospace Systems. And what is Aerospace Systems? Our aerospace Systems are a, is a relatively recent discipline that has been introduced to take into account the multidisciplinarity of modern aircraft systems. So Aerospace system blends different disciplines such as electronics, electrical engineering, traditional aeronautical engineering, software engineering, control engineering into a cohesive unit. And this is fundamental to support the demanding flight mechanics requirements, uh, flight control requirements of modern aircraft technology. The degree is taught over two years with 120 and 130 credits over the, the two years. Here you can see <coughs> the list of topics that are taught in the, two, uh, in the two years of course. If you go to our uh, booth in the, in the main uh, foyer area, we have brochures that provide you with more detailed information on all the contents of the different uh, courses that, that are taught. And the second degree is the Bachelor uh, of Engineering with Honours in Aeronautical Engineering. And this is a more traditional overview of aerospace engineering, looking at more classical aspects of aeronautics, such as aerodynamics, fluid mechanics, structures, and propulsion. Again, two years, the course structure is similar. There are a number of courses that are replicated, that are common to both degree programs, but <clears throat> obviously to highlight the differences in focus of the degree programs, there are modules that are associated with only one of the two degree programs. Relevant points of these two degree programs. You have 130 credits in year one and 120 credits in year two. 10 credits course correspond roughly to 100 hours of learning time. Now this doesn't mean 100 hours of teaching because there wouldn't be enough hours in a semester to fit all those classes. The 100 hours, the 100 learning hours, correspond to roughly 20, 25 hours of teaching contact, and the rest are tutorials, labs, and personal stu uh, study time by the, by the students. The, <clears throat> the courses are examined at the end of the semester. Semester, run, semester one runs from the beginning of September to the uh, middle of December, where you have exams in the, first, in the first half of December. Second semester starts in January, runs through to the um, end of April with exams in, uh, in May. Throughout the degree program, in the summer between year one and year two, the students will spend four weeks in Glasgow from the middle of June to the middle of July. And we'll be carrying out an uh, sorry, a group project 
with different emphasis depending on the type of degree program the student is uh, enrolled on. For the students on the aeronautical engineering uh, degree, the project is the design of an aircraft. I mentioned the aerodynamic work, and this is supported by a large number of um, facilities and wind tunnels. We have two large wind tunnels. The biggest one is the Argyle wind tunnel, which is a closed return wind tunnel with over five square meters of access areas. We also have a one square meter uh, purpose-built flow uh, visualization wind tunnel, which is used for particle image uh, velocimetry analysis. And then we have the concurrent uh, design laboratory, which is used to perform uh, uh, distributed computing and multidisciplinary design. And this is uh, very important because nowadays, large-scale engineering enterprises have to be performed in a concurrent fashion. This means that all the various disciplines that combine together to form the end product must work together throughout the various stages of the design process. And something that is obviously of interest and very relevant to anyone that enrolls in a university degree is, okay, I studied, I put a lot of effort, what do I get at the end of it? Well, hopefully a job. And the students that graduate with this degree programs end up working in mostly the aerospace systems or the aerospace engineering field, but not necessarily only aeronautical engineering or aerospace defense companies. The degree programs equip the student with a vast array of skills, knowledge, and capabilities that can be easily redeployed into other engineering domains. Propulsion, Rolls-Royce, uh, civil engineering, offshore engineering, uh, renewable energy with uh, wind farms, um, <clears throat> structural analysis, and so on. As I mentioned, uh, one of the attractive features of this, uh, of this project, of this degree program, is that the student will get to spend an immersion period in Glasgow during the summer between years one and year two. And this immersion period at the University of Glasgow is an integral part of the degree program. So it's not just a holiday to go to Scotland and visit the Highlands and maybe be lucky enough to see the Loch Ness Monster. You will have to be doing some, uh, you will be doing some work. However, we don't want you to work all the time. We want you to also enjoy the experience of being at the University of Glasgow and of being in a vibrant city like Glasgow. The university <coughs> has a number of uh, societies, groups, clubs that enhance the student experience.